hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see the open source alternative of this mode scan software now mode scan software is used to connect with modbus tcp or modbus serial rtu devices to validate and read the data to control and update the data okay but if you go for a mode scan then it will cost you 99.95 dollar but there is an open source alternative available for the same mode scan software so you don't have to purchase the license of mode scan you can visit this github repository okay open mode scan by sani32 and you can uh, go to the release options here you can see open mode scan version 1.7.0 and if you want to read about this open mode scan software then you can read everything from here okay so so every detail of this open mode scan software is available here now in this video we are going to download this open mode scan we are going to install this open mode scan in our system and then we will check that how it is working to connect with our modbus tcp devices so i'm going to the release okay we will download the latest release you can see open mode scan version 1.7.0 I'm going to download Qt6 Open More Scan version 1.7.0 for uh, Windows operating system. Okay. You can see it is downloading. And I'm going to uh, move it on my desktop. Uh, we will double click here to start the installation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run it anyway. Okay. We have to accept the license agreement. And here is the destination folder. So on which location you want to install this open mode scan software. So I'm going to install it on my D drive. Okay. And I'm going to press install to start the installation. Okay. You can see installation is complete. And here we have a shortcut for open mode scan. Now we can close it. And uh, the best part of this open mode scan, it is work same as the paid mode scan software. Okay. And it doesn't require any license so we will open this more scan software okay so this is the more scan software uh, look is almost similar as the uh, paid more scan software now let me open the more slave simulator software to simulate a more tcp device so my more tcp device is started i can you know auto increment the few resistors Okay, and uh, you can see the ID is 1 and the function code 3. So it's a holding register. So I can select holding register here. I can select length 10. And here I can select integer 16. Okay, 16 bit integer. Now I can go to connection. I can click on connect. And we are going to connect with Modbus TCP device or we can say remote Modbus TCP server. So we are going to select a remote TCP IP server. The IP address is my local host IP address because Modbus Slave is running in my local system. And the port is 502. As you can see here, port is 502. I'm going to press OK. And here you can see we have the value 40, 38, 39, 40. OK. And if I want to update the value of this 4004 or here it is mapped to uh, 4003, sorry, 40003. OK. Then I can also update that value from here. So I have to double click here. And suppose I want to update the value to 66, then I can press OK. And here you can see 66 got updated. OK, so this is how you can use open mode scan to connect with your Modbus TCP or your Modbus serial devices. If you want to connect with Modbus serial device, then also we can do that. So let me show you. Uh, let me disconnect it. And here also we will disconnect in the Modbus slave. Now I am going to press on connect in the Modbus slave. And instead of Modbus TCP IP, we are going to use serial port and uh, i have virtual serial port running in my system which is connecting com1 to com2 so if i simulate my modbus serial device on the com1 then all the data will be available on com2 okay it's an internal communication or internal joint between com1 and com2 so i'm going to press ok and my device is up and running you can see it is running on port 1 with the 9600 baud rate data bits 8 parity none and the stop bit 1. now if i want to connect my open mode scan with this mode serial device then i can go to connection i can click on connect and here i can select com2 because com1 and com2 internally connected and i can specify baud rate 9600 data bits uh, 
8 okay parity none and the stop bit 1 I can press ok and here you can see we have the data also I can update the data from here like 55 and here you can see the 55 is available here okay so this open more scan software can also work with Morbus TCP devices also with Morbus serial RTU or RS485 devices okay so now you don't have to purchase any license of Morscan software, you can use this open Morscan software for your testing and validation application. You can download this open Morscan from this GitHub repository. I will provide the link of this GitHub repository in the description of this video. You can open this GitHub repository, you can go to releases and you can download the latest release as per your requirement. Okay. Okay, so I hope everything is clear and if you still have any question or concern, then you can put your question and concern in the comment. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.